my giant afro into a messy bun because today we are doing a tour and I don't want my hair in the way but we are learning about traditional herbal and medicinal things here in Tegu and I am very very excited to share some of the magic with you all but my eyes, my, look at my eyes <laughs> I had to take the hair down they're up there doing introductions right now and I'm trying to figure out what the hell is inside my team. Look at this. What is that? Clearly not from tea leaves, but from oats and barley. But it's good for you. Uh, hey, Simone. <laughs> yeah, so we're learning about medicinal beer. We're gonna have a uh, Samgitam. It's gonna be pretty cool. I'm uh, live streaming on Instagram with Mick Wallace. <laughs> so. Hello! <laughs> so we're here learning about the, the historical purposes of this particular area in Tegu as well as some of the medicinal treatments. So it's a lot of different displays as you can see. Uh oh, shake your camera. So a lot of different displays as you can see. Just showing you some of the ways that things were done. It's very interesting and um, everything smells really good to me. <laughs> A lot of things concerning herbs and different spices and gingers and things of that sort. A lot of interesting stuff. All things that naturally heal and keep you healthy and whole instead of having to pop pills for everything. And that's one of the issues that, um, I mean, it's, it's a plus, but it's a negative in, in medicine. So many things keep being done with the pills that we have now and medications but it depletes the body's aspect of being able to heal itself on a natural basis many of the things that we can eat and prepare for ourselves can take care of us in the same way um, but unfortunately that's not the inclination we have these days all right it's cupcake time and i should have said earlier that i had the entire schedule for the whole day right on the back of my name tag yes i have all my glasses so we learned about a company that's been here for eight years and they do fully 100 percent organic uh cupcakes so i have a green tea cupcake right here with a bit of chocolate bits and the cool thing is when you put the frosting on the top of it you can put the lid on and flip the cupcake upside down and it won't even come off they make tiramisu you not from the powder like you get from the store, like, but actually you grind it up and make it fresh. So yeah, yeah. this is about to be absolutely oh catastrophic. Oh yeah, the other yeah. cupcake is so uh, like coffee. Uh, but this is about to be a hot yeah, mess because I don't do food, arts, and crafts. I do this quite possible. So we'll see yeah. how this works. Okay. Okay. Start. Okay. Okay. Hi, Ting Kendra. <laughs> I know my limitations, so I asked for help. So here is my chocolate or coffee with tiramisu. Very, very pretty. Whoops. Very, 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 very Um, this green tea one look like, I just, yeah, I can see that. She said breakfast. Green tea one is not as hot mess. It's too easy to use. But the cool thing is, I got a boomerang of the one I didn't do. Look how good it looks. Oh, yeah. Did you say the one you didn't do? <laughs> so you remember that long, long time ago when I tried to make Tommy Tongue? And it didn't look like this, that's for certain. But this is done with more of the herbs that are for appropriate medicinal purpose. I don't see a jujube anywhere in here, but let me see what the flavor is like. They did it with barley. Mine tastes better. <laughs> I'm about to throw down anyway though. As a person who does a lot of talking about cultural appropriation and misappropriation, oh, time out for you K-drama lovers. A K-drama was filmed where I am. 
<laughs> okay, but um, as a big person who, you know, advocates for staying in your lane or going where invited and or asked, um, we're at the Modern Culture Experience Center where you get to wear the traditional humble. So since this is by admission for the festival that I'm here for, I will get to have this experience, but I am excited about it either way. Well, there you have it. Although I have a backpack on right now. Ta-da! I'm in Hamburg. Okay, the thing I did not expect. First and foremost, we're finished filming at this point. And because I'm the only black person in attendance and I'm in this, I'm a part of the promo material now. Um, but I didn't... I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I didn't expect the older Koreans to be so appreciative to see me in the attire. That is very, very shocking and very humbling. So um, to be able to have the ladies get me dressed up and then my sash came undone and one of the, the ajimas who was sitting here, she's just visiting. She stood up and was very eager to fix my, my bow and everything. So um, this is, absolutely incredible and this is something that you should value as not being that of your own so you should respect it deeply and not like fool around with stuff that doesn't belong to you like this is not my fashion so um you look see look how pretty she looks like oh, so cool y'all behind me it is it is the disco bang 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 it is it's disco bang bang i'm not going because i don't feel like you know being tremendously humiliated but eventually after enough alcohol i'm coming to do disco bang bang <laughs>